a trail running vest from the OG of hydration systems. Stay tuned for my review of the Camelback Zephyr. While perhaps better known for mountain biking hydration systems, Camelback is making a big push now to create packs that are uniquely designed for trail running. And the Zephyr is currently the top of the line newest model. By the numbers, this is a 12 liter carrying capacity pack. That's enough to fit your full UTMB mandatory gear list. The bottles are each about 500 milliliters, so you have a liter of hydration in it. And the pack weighs just under 200 grams, which is fantastic. It's made of really light material, including what they call their engineered knit mesh. The pack's actually treated with an odor-free technology that's blue sign approved, so it's good for the planet and good for your nose. In over a month and a half of testing, I've only had to wash the pack once so far. I've been using the pack for well over a month now on a range of adventures. And here are some thoughts I had while on the trails. Well, I'm 32K into a 50K run on the trails here. It's actually the first time I throw the pack on and it's been doing quite well. It's very comfortable. I don't feel too many hot spots at all. Uh, no chafing, which is good on a humid day like today. You can see the bottles do bounce a little bit in the pockets, but overall it's not too bad and over time you don't really notice it. For fit and finish, the pack is top notch. All materials are really good. You'll notice the way the mesh is here, it's very breathable. The back uses a body mapped knit and it dumps a lot of heat, so it's really good. Well, to be able to take a pack straight out of the package and run 51K on it without a single issue, that's a good testament to the quality of this pack. As far as the two bottles that come with the pack go, they're made of a slightly heavier plastic than some of my other squeeze bottles, so it's a bit heavier in the hand, but it has a good grip. The top is actually large enough so that you can fit an ice cube in as well as drop your hydration tabs if you're using those. The top of the bottle is actually, uh, you can lock it open or closed so you can have the water flow or not. The bottles themselves can mount either in the lower pocket or the upper pocket depending on your preference. I found on the long runs having the top is actually handy because you can just lean over and have a drink when you want. So for the past few runs I've switched from the bottles in the front to using a bladder. And what it's done, it's made the pockets a bit more useful for me. Still not perfect, but man, this pack is so comfortable. The Zephyr is a one size fits all, which had me concerned, but right out of the package, without even fully compressing the sides, the pack does fit me well, and I've still got room to cinch it up more if I feel I need that if the pack bounces. Adjustments on the pack are very straightforward. On the front, you've got the two sternum straps, which you can just simply pull or loosen, and as well, they clip in and out very easily. On the side of the pack here, you'll see there are two straps as well, so you can cinch the pack tighter or looser around your chest area. Camelback's done a good job of thinking through the pocket placement on their vest. As you can see here on the front, you do have a zipper pocket. It's a little hard to open one-handed, but it has a waterproof lining on the inside, so it's a great place to stick a phone. Although I prefer sticking mine right here on the other side pocket. You've also got the trail trash pocket below here, which is great for sticking snacks as well as the garbage that results and you still have the top pockets on both sides if you want to carry bottles or not. In the back, where you put the bladder, unfortunately there's no way to keep the bladder from slouching down, but I solved that with a little carabiner. So on today's adventure, I packed a uh, rain jacket, toilet paper, a pretty comprehensive first aid kit, including a uh, light for in case I'm out late, water filter, my sunglasses. All that fits in the back here in the big pocket, which has a zipper on the top. You'll see on the inside I also have my uh, bladder is sitting in there and it's separated from the main part of the pack by this water resistant fabric. And finally you'll also note that there is a zippered pocket on the inside and that also has a bit of water resistant lining there to keep things dry. Another thing I appreciated as a runner was the large overflow stretch mesh pocket on the back. This is really handy if you need to don and doff a raincoat or a wing jacket throughout your run. You can just stuff it in the back there and have easy access to it without having to unpack everything in your bag. To sum up, Camelback has come up with a really compelling trail running vest that competes head to head with any of the other big brands out there for what may actually be a lower price point. I was a bit skeptical at first, but in reality this has become my primary running pack just for the versatility of the different ways I can use it. Well that does it for my review of the Camelback Zephyr. For more information on this and all the products, head to the Camelback website.